All right, I'm heading off to Assist 2019. Let's go. So this is my second year attending the Assist Show, and I can't even begin to describe how important organizations like this are for security guard companies. In fact, I will leave a link to the video that I did for the 2018 show up in one of these corners someplace. Did you get that? Before we get started, go lock up your guns. Only in Texas. God, I love this state. So let's talk about why associations like ASSIST are so important. As a security guard company, you face numerous challenges. Hiring, sales, field operations, customer relationships, and sometimes as a security guard company owner, you might feel like you're the only person out there facing those challenges when you're not part of an association like Assist. Because when you are, you have uh, peers to reach out to, people who are walking in your shoes, and not to mention subject matter experts. For instance, I had a chance to talk to Fred Gardner from DFA uh, about some of the risks that security guard companies face and how to mitigate those. Check this out. This is Fred. I will let him introduce himself and tell you a little bit about his business and what he does. Fred. Uh, Fred Gardner. I'm the uh, president of DFA Insurance Services in Dallas. Uh, we've been riding security guards, private investigators, and alarm companies for about 20 years. Uh, but I've been in the security guard, private investigator, and alarm insurance end of it for almost 40 years. Not all agents are alike in that if they don't have an expertise built up in what it is that security does, then, then you can wind up buying a policy that's rated uh, wrong and it has holes in it. And so when you have a claim, you don't know that until you have a claim. Then you have a claim, find out that you didn't have coverage for lost key as an example, or your loss key coverage was $2,500 and you're doing a 49 story building and it's gonna cost 50 grand to have it rekeyed because your security guard lost the master key. So it's those type things that you, you have to know, first off, what loss key coverage is. Okay, number one, it starts with your contract. If you, if you give too much away in your contract, uh, then you're gonna open yourself up for a, for a lawsuit. And what I'm saying is, I'll give you an example. When, when I say you're opening yourself up, um, if you tell a company that I guarantee you, you will not have any losses uh, if you hire my company, you can't guarantee that. Security guards, were never created to, to be a guarantee no loss. They're, they're a loss to turn. The second thing is if, uh, if you've written your, con if you get somebody to write your contract correctly, then it also won't make you responsible for care, custody, and control. As an example, if you're going to guard a trucking terminal and that trucking terminal, uh, you tell them that they need five guards and a set of cameras to correctly guard their truck lot, their trailer lot. Um, and they say, well, we can't afford that. What we want is two guards uh, and cameras. And so any thief in there that's worth their salt will cut through the back fence They'll go to a trailer that they've already gotten inside information that has electronics. And before the guard makes it around the perimeter, 
they will have cleaned that entire trailer out of electronics. Now, if your contract's written correctly, then you're not responsible for their loss because you did everything that you uh, have post orders and by contract to do. So uh, that leads me into the third thing, your post orders. Your post orders have to be definite and they have to be finite. You have to make sure that you spell out to the client that this is what we do. This is what we will do. We will have two guards, one at the gate, one on the perimeter patrol, uh, and we will have them here 24 seven. That's an, a post order that you can stand by then you don't get in trouble unless your guard doesn't show up and your supervisor doesn't catch it. That, that's a whole different issue, but, but that's where your insurance now kicks in because if you violate post orders and you have a loss, then your insurance company is going to respond to that. Uh, if you do everything that you're supposed to do and you have a loss, your insurance company is going to defend you, but they're not going to probably pay that loss. In the last 15 years, they didn't. But most big clients now are starting to require it. And even if they're not, you probably need to look into buy it because right now cyber coverage is relatively cheap. In a nutshell, what cyber coverage does is if you have a guard, and I'll give you an example. You have a guard that is doing um, third shift at a hospital. He's sitting at the main desk watching cameras, but unbeknownst to you, he's an amateur hacker. So he takes his laptop, and while he's sitting watching these cameras, he decides to see if he can hack into their system. He does. Now, he gets all the controls he needs in their computer, so when he leaves, now he can sit in his apartment, and he can cut off their air, cut off their heat, cut off their oxygen, cut off their hydrogen. He can, he can manipulate different zones. And the hospital is running around with like a rabbit uh, trying to figure out why all these things are happening when uh, in reality it's the security guard that's creating the chaos. So by the way, that actually did happen and that, that security guard got busted by the feds is now doing 15 years, but, but that's what cyber liability is. Um, it, it protects uh, sensitive information that even if that's not one of your responsibilities, it protects sensitive information because one of your employees decided to take it upon themselves to, to play a game. Perfect, perfect. You can go to our website, which is uh, D as in David, F as in Frank, A as in Albert, insure, I-N-S-U-R-E, dot com, and uh, you can contact us that way. You can fill out an application, hit submit, and then we can get you a quote. Perfect. Thanks. Well, that's it for this week, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, please click the like button below, and if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to our YouTube channel because you would really be helping me out. Thanks everybody. See you next week. Stay safe.